What's good, YouTube? Never done YouTube here, back again once again today, people. Today uh, we have an update video of sorts, January first, two thousand eighteen, and a lot of changes have begun on the channel already. I do want to say that uh, this is probably the most important update video that we've ever done. So please, by all means, watch the video in its entirety. It can't end up being more, no more than twenty minutes. I know you got twenty minutes to spare. Just yo, just peep it. Just peep it. So first things first, you guys may have noticed a change of sorts uh, happening on the channel, especially if you caught yesterday's episodes of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, this is our new direction for 2018. It is a year of darkness that has just begun, so expect to see a lot of projects themed around that. Not going to spoil too much for you. Uh, 2018 is also going to see the return of top five free for alls, uh, Wi-Fi battles to some degree. Uh, and of course pokey roast as well, so I don't have any set dates for those just just keep in mind over the year It may come and go yada yada yada. Uh, we'll see uh, also 2018 I don't know if you guys know this or not, but your boy streams on twitch quite a bit Quite a bit if you guys aren't familiar with our twitch channel. We go live uh, pretty much every week between 8 and 9 p.m. EST Monday through Saturday So definitely make sure if you are not following on Twitch or not subscribed on Twitch go and peep it It's linked in the description of every video we upload and as of late the past month or two I'm not uploading videos on the channel anymore that say we're now live because then our YouTube channel becomes a net We're now live channel over on Twitch so definitely by all means if you don't follow us on Twitch if you're not into it you need to get into it there's so much more gaming so much more nappy nation so much more everything over there as well so like I said it's linked in the description make sure you go and follow etc 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 so we have the year of darkness that has just begun uh, I'm absolutely uh, amazingly hyped for it year of darkness just become uh, just begun with a bunch of dark themed projects this year uh, all the side series are gonna make a return at one point or another this year uh, and more importantly, we are beginning 2018 so tantalizingly close to 500,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. I honestly cannot thank you enough for all the insane, crazy support that you guys have shown over 2017. It, it honestly just it, it just fuels the creative drive so that we can do so much more than what you could ever imagine. Uh, so moving into 2018, that's the way we're going to go about it. Uh, and of course, I've been preaching positivity through all of 2017. That's still the motto. Healthy, be, being healthful, healthful, healthy, whatever. Grammar is not the motto, apparently. Uh, but being healthy, happy, and positive is still the motto for 2018. That's still how we're going to promote everything that we do. Uh, some could say, oh, it sucks we didn't hit 500k before 2018. But the silver lining is we're starting 2018 at 500k. So I can't thank you guys enough again for the support. You guys are just over the top, insanely amazing and, and awesome. The motherfucking navigation is the best, hands down. And with this whole year of darkness, I have to invite you all into it with us. This isn't just the nappy's going through a change kind of thing. I want you all to join me. And the best way that we can go about that is with our new series. Ladies and gentlemen, our first dark themed project of the year is our Blaze Black 2 Egglock. Our Blaze Black Egglock that we did years ago is arguably one of the best projects we've ever done. And we are diving into a proper solo sequel for it. And I, like I said, it's, it's, it's kicking off our year of darkness and I want you all to join me by sending in your own eggs. Yes, today I'm going to show you guys how to send in eggs and I'm going to beg and plead with you guys. I don't care if you think you know PokeGen inside not. I don't care if you think you got the process down pat. No. I want you to download all the stuff in the description below and I want you to follow along step by step to make sure that you do your egg right. And I know even though I'm saying this now, there are still going to be people that are going to mess this up. And I'm telling you right now, if you mess up your egg, you're messing up this series for everybody because then we have to wait and go through all the messed up eggs and this and that yada 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 so please by all means pay close attention pay close attention and make sure you do your eggs right god damn it as I said before you guys there will be a link in the description below for you to go ahead and download the documentation for blaze black 2 as well as a link to pokegen so that you guys can generate your eggs uh, please, 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 I don't care how well versed you are with PokeGen, please create your egg as you follow along with the video so that it's done properly, okay, it's done properly, every time we do an egg lock, we go all balls out with it, so definitely want to make sure that this is done the right way, and especially, you know, you don't mess up your egg, 
because if you mess up your egg, then I can't use your egg, and then that's just yikes. So, anyways, you're gonna download the uh, RAR file in the description below. You're gonna go ahead and open up PokeGen. Uh, before you even get started, there are three basic rules that we gotta follow for this egg lock. Three easy, basic, simple rules. Rule number one is I'll only be accepting one egg per person. One egg per person. There's, I know there's going to be a ton of you guys sending eggs in, and everyone's going to say, oh, there's no point in even making an egg. So many people are going to send their eggs in. And you never know. You never know. Every time I do an egg lock, I get people that tweet at me and leave comments saying, oh my god, you used my egg. So you never know. And it doesn't hurt to send in an egg either. But because there are going to be so many people sending in eggs, the, the limit is one egg per person. So please give everyone else a fair chance to have their eggs used as well. One egg per person. Second rule is that no legendary Pokemon will be accepted. I want to hatch an egg and find a Kyogre. As dope as that would be, I want to hatch an egg and find a Kyogre. Uh, and the last rule is that when you create your egg, it has to be a basic Pokemon or a baby Pokemon. Whatever the default stage, the default evolution for that Mon is. So let's say, for example, you want to send me a Hydreigon. You have to send a Dano. I don't want to hatch a Hydreigon. If we hatch a Hydreigon, then the egg is not legal. We can't use the Mon at all. So you got to send me a Dano. If you want to send me a Snorlax, uh, technically you could send a Snorlax, but I would prefer if you were to send in a Munchlax. Same for like a uh, Magmortar. If you want to see a Magmortar or even a Magmar. Uh, you'd have to send a mag B. So whatever the most basic version of that mod is, make sure that that's what you choose. Make sure it's what that's what you choose. I've had so many people in the past who want to send me uh, a Lucario, and they just send me a Lucario, and I'm like, well, I can't use it. It has to be a Ryalu. I can't just use this Luc. It doesn't. doesn't no. <laughs> so those are the three basic rules for making your eggs before you even send them in. So when it actually comes time to open up PokeGen, you're going to open it up and you're going to see this here screen. First thing you need to do is go to options and target game and set it to black 2, white 2. That'll make sure that the egg that you're creating is, is made to be red in that game. You set it to any other game, the entire egg is null and void. Make sure it's set to black 2, white 2. Now, on the actual tabs itself, make sure you leave the PID blank. PID is there to help with shiny mons and this and that, and we're not even going to worry about all that. We're not even going to worry about all that. Just make sure you leave the PID blank. Up next, you need to change the species name. Now, for all intents and purposes, let's say we want to use a Dano. I just typed Diango. Let's say we want to use a Dano. There we go. I can't spell. <laughs> let's, let's say you want to send a High Dragon, so we're going to make a Dano. So you go ahead and fill out Dano in this species name. When it comes to nicknaming it, make sure you can name whatever you want. I don't know what the character limit is in game, um, but I nickname my Dano's Bully. You can make it your own username. You can make it whatever your nickname for that mod normally is, whatever. Just as long as you enter your nickname and you got to check the box. You got to check the box. If you don't check the box, then you're just not going to get a nickname. It's not going to happen. Make sure the experience is set to zero. Uh, and like I said, make sure that it's level one, set to zero. Uh, when it comes to its nature, you can make whatever nature you like. If you want to make it a beneficial nature, like uh, send me a timid Dano, and by all means, you can do that. You can send me a modest Dano, or you could be that guy and just want to troll a little, 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 and you could send me a, I, I don't know, adamant. I mean, uh, when it comes to Dano and High Dragon, I mean, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, there, unless you send me like a. Uh, plus special defense nature or something like that you know really high dragons a mixed attacker or can be uh, but you get the point I'm making you can either send a beneficial nature or you can send a nature that's just gonna end up screwing me over uh, in the egg lock it doesn't matter if that's, that's that's the entire point of it all right then and there uh, the held item this is kind of important you can put whatever held item you like you want to put a master ball put a master ball you want to put a rare candy put a rare candy you want to put leftovers put leftovers you want to put a brick piece put a brick piece it doesn't matter you can put whatever held item you want but what a lot of people do is uh, a common example that I'm pretty sure I've used in past egg locks is if you want to send in a Flareon or a Jolteon or a Vaporeon or whatever you would have to send in an Eevee but then you can give a held item whatever stone is needed to evolve. So that, that lets me know this was meant to be a Vaporeon. This was meant to be a Jolteon. This was meant to be a Flareon. If you want to send me a Wigglytuff, you can have the egg hold a Moonstone. Or, you know, something like that. So just so that I know, or it can help me get to the final evolution of the mod. And like I said, you can put a Master Ball, another Leftovers, another Experience Share, a TM, whatever you want. As long as it's a legal item, you can put whatever you want in that held item spot. 
Make sure the happiness is set to zero. We are going to be using a quick egg hatch code, uh, so that it doesn't take us forever to hatch eggs in the episode. Uh, but make sure your happiness is set to zero. If you set it anything higher than that, it's going to take us longer to hatch eggs, and then it's less that we get done in each episode. And everyone knows how much they love to complain when Nappy doesn't get anything done in an episode. So I, I guarantee you there are going to be episodes where we're going to have five, six, seven encounters, and we need to hatch five, six, seven eggs. And if it takes way too long to hatch the eggs, then that's all we're going to be doing for episodes is just hatching eggs. And who wants to do that? Who wants to do that at all? Uh, the ability... You need to double check the documentation for this. Triano made a lot of changes in Blaze Black 2. So I'm going to be double checking the documentation as well as the uh, actual Pokedex when we go to Hatch Eggs to make sure that everything is legal and legit. Um, I know an example off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure they gave uh, the Mudkip line damp, I think. They don't normally get damp. Do they, do they normally get damp? I don't think they do. Uh, they get Torrent and what's the hidden ability? Oh, it is damn. Never mind. Then I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I remember there was some issue that we had a while back uh, when we were doing a different egg lock. I think it was Blaze Black. When we did the Blaze Black egg lock a while back, we had some uh, mix-ups, some miscommunications with abilities. Um, so this time around, I'm going to specifically be checking the documentation as well as the Pokédex to make sure that abilities are okay. But like I said, Dreano did change some abilities in game, so you need to go and double, triple, quadruple check that as well just so you can give us the best ability that is available, gosh darn it. Uh, form should be left blank. Honestly, it shouldn't even be uh, uh, highlighted for you unless you put a mod that has a form, like, uh, well, I was gonna say like one of the um, Guardians, or whatever it's called, Landorus, Thunderous, Tornadus. It's, it's basically any mod that has a form. You can choose this form here. So like Rotom, you would never send me a Rotom wash. You just send me a Rotom, and I have to go and change this form myself. So technically, like I said, if you don't choose a mon that uh, doesn't have a form, the option shouldn't be available. But if you do, make sure that you either set its form correctly this way or it's left blank, like in the case of Rotom. The country of origin is fine the way it is. The origin itself needs to be set to black 2. You need to make sure it's set to black 2. It's another one of those things where it needs to be set properly, and if it's not, then it's just not going to work. The egg is not going to be red. It needs to be set to black 2. Country, make it U.S. because your boy is from the U.S. I'm playing it. And the origin is black too. Make sure you're good to go with that as well. Uh, shiny leaf, leave it set to none. You can choose its gender, male or female there. And make sure that egg is checked. Make sure that egg is checked. Because you are sending me an egg. You're not sending me a basic mod. You're sending me an egg. So make sure that egg is checked. Now, when you go to uh, the met tab next. So your main tab should be done. Met tab is what you load up next. Uh, the game, of course, should be set to black 2, white 2. Uh, you can set the location to whatever it is that you want it to be. If you want to set it to Accrutique City, you can set it to that. If you want to set it to Victory Road, you can set it to that. Since we have a Dano, you can set it to Victory Road if you'd like. Uh, Victory Road, black 2, white 2. Uh, you can set it to anywhere, basically. It's as long as, it, as long as it starts as an egg. The location doesn't matter. You can set the ball to whatever you like as well. I'm gonna set it to a luxury ball, of course. You guys know that that's my favorite Pokeball. So I can set it to a luxury ball. You can set it to whatever ball you like as well. That's fine. You gotta change the level here to one because obviously you're sending me an egg. I'm gonna hatch the egg, it's gonna be level one. Uh, and the date, you can just use today's date or whatever date it is that you make it. That's fine. Uh, and then the encounter needs to be changed to egg, pal park, event, honey tree, whatever, because Again, you're sending an egg. <laughs> Again, you're sending an egg. That's the whole point. <laughs> make sure that Fateful Encounter is checked and make sure as egg, yet again, is checked as well. And you should be done with the Met uh, tab. The Stats tab, really, you can put whatever IVs you'd like. That's fine. The only thing I want to ask is that you leave the EVs blank. Obviously, EVs you get in-game from battling different mons uh, and whatnot. So make sure you leave the EVs blank. Uh, you can set the IVs to perfect IVs if you want. You could randomize IVs. You could do whatever you want with the IVs. Uh, I don't mind that. But the EVs, just make sure you leave it at zero so we can get our own IVs as we go throughout the game. Uh, last tab should be the attacks tab. Or the last tab you need to worry about should be attacks tab. Attacks, again, this is something that you're going to need to um, check the documentation for. Um, the only thing I'm going to ask is that we all we use is egg moves and level one moves. If a mon gets a move at like level 40 something, don't put it in here now. I don't want to hatch uh, a Growlithe with, I don't even know, I, I don't know what Growlithe's egg moves are versus 
uh, or at least when it comes to competitive, I should say. I know what competitive Arcanine runs, but I don't know what it's what it learns and how it learns and whatnot. But the point I'm making is, if it's not an egg move or a level one move, don't bother with it. Again, you're just sending me the basic version of the mod. And Dreyano changed a lot of the egg moves and level one moves and the learn set moves uh, for a lot of mods. So make sure you double check the documentation and double check the actual Pokédex as well to see what it gets and what it doesn't get. This is going to be something that I'm going to have to really uh, be very, very poignant about when it comes to hatching eggs. Because there have been times in the past where I hatch an egg and I'm like, oh, you don't get this move. And the whole comment section is like, no, Nappy, no, it does in Dreyano. So I'm going to be double checking the documentation as well when it comes time for me to hatch the egg. But aside from that, everything should be good. You shouldn't have to stress about anything else. Level 1 moves, egg moves, check the documents. So last thing that you need to do, go to File, and Save, and please don't save the, uh, go to set File, Save, File As. Um, and please do not save the file as the Pokemon name. Don't do that. If you want to send me a Dano, please don't name it Dano.PKM or whatever it is. Please don't name it just that. That, that, that was a dead giveaway as to what's inside of the egg. Make it your, save the file as your username. Or if you gave the mod a nickname, save the file as that mod's nickname. But just please don't save it as what it actually is. That ruins the surprise of the egg lock completely when I go and download all the files and I see charmander.pkm 14 times over. And it's just like, well, <laughs> I know what's in that egg. <laughs> I know what this egg is. So make sure you save it as something that isn't what the Pokemon is. So aside from that, that should be all you need to do, all you need to worry about creating your egg. If you follow this step by step, then you have done it correctly, and there's a good chance that your egg will be used. Mm. So, most important things, make sure the game is set to black 2, white 2 in all areas. Make sure that it's checked as egg in all areas. And please, 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 the number one thing that everyone messes up on is that species. It was like the second thing I went over. Make sure you change the species. Obama Snow is the first mod in the Pokedex alphabetically, and I can't tell you many people either skip over that or reset it or whatever, and you send me an Obama Snow that has Fire Blast, Close Combat, all this stuff because it was meant to be a Growlithe, but you forgot to change the species, so you sent me an Obama Snow instead. And automatically we get Obama Snows in their own separate box because someone didn't change the species. So those are the three most important things to keep an eye out for. Three most common th ways that people make mistakes, I should say. Okay, so once you have your egg created, you're going to email it to tknbb2egglock at gmail.com. It should be on the screen right now for you. It's dkingnappyblazeblack2egglock at gmail.com. tknbb2 at gmail. tknbb2egglock at gmail.com. That is the address you're going to send your, uh, your egg to. And we're going to be accepting eggs until Thursday night. Thursday night, I'm going to record episode one. Episode one will be up this Friday. So, mark your calendars, get ready, get to sending in your eggs, your delicious eggs, so we can scramble them up and eat them up real good. Uh, but like I said, please make sure, please make sure that you create your egg alongside me in the video so that it's done correctly and you can send it to your boy and we can use all these eggs and get bomb ass mods. I can't wait to see how many shinxes and sneezles we hatch because every single egg lock we do for whatever reason we get 800 shinxes 800 uh weaviles 800 glide scores 800 lucarios and it's like there's 800 pokemon in the game well not in this not in this one it's only up to fifth gen but still uh, you get the point that I'm making. But either way, uh, again, thank you all so much for your support throughout 2017. I'm looking forward to kicking off 2018 in a very deliciously dark way. And I would like all of you to join us uh, with our new Blaze Black 2 egg lock. So get hype. Send us your eggs. Let us know what you think of everything that's to come in the description below. In the description. In the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, thank you all yet again for your support. And thank you for checking out the video. We are Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!